the lessons that you've learned over the last two years are very important. And I know it's sometimes difficult. But if there is one thing that I want all of you to remember today, it's how much support you have right here. If you look around, the men and women in uniform, especially my men and women in the Sheriff's Office, those from Riverhead PD, your teachers, your counselors, your family members, all of them care about you. We are all here, and so when life isn't going the way you want it to be, and believe me, there are going to be a lot of days when it doesn't go exactly how you want it to go. Remember, there are people you can turn to. You don't have to turn to drugs and alcohol. I have to say that when I go to visit schools, and I've been to one or two schools per week, I always say, I want to get to the kids before you get to me. I'd rather see you here and talk to you about some of the things that you're facing than see you in one of our two jails in Riverhead and Yapang. And for me, this is extremely personal because some of the people that have been closest to me in my life have struggled with drugs and alcohol, and I've witnessed how experimenting with drugs can quickly spiral out of control. And I'm sure I'm not the only one here who, who can say that because we all know someone who's been affected by drugs. And I was probably like many of you. I didn't start out thinking when I was in fifth or sixth grade that I would be the sheriff one day. And I wasn't someone who grew up with a lot of advantages, but I worked hard and I got my education and I stayed away from drugs and alcohol. Education opens up all kinds of doors for people and drugs closes doors for all of you. And that's my message to all of you. Dream bigger, stay in school, reach out for help when life is getting stressful, and say no to drugs. Have a great day, everyone. Have a wonderful summer. And thank you for inviting me.